Nelson's Journey supports bereaved children and young people in Norfolk. So anyone under the age of 18 who suffered a significant bereavement. So it could be a parent or sibling, equally it could be a grandparent, best friend at school, anyone important in that child's life. So the Midwich guys today, we've got them uh, in their rubber gloves, we've got them with their sponges out and they're cleaning all the toys. So we're lucky enough to have lots of lovely toys here at Smiles House for the children to play with when they come in. Um, but they do get grubby, as you can imagine, um, being played with. So every year we like to make sure that our toys are all nicely clean. So we've got a team of seven volunteers upstairs working very hard, doing their Cinderella bit and getting all those toys nice and sparkling clean for Christmas. Yeah, to come here and see the hard work that all the staff put in, in helping all these young children and their families it's it's absolutely amazing to be honest and you know they really need help from companies in the local area to help sponsor toys and events and things like that and if you come and visit Nelson's journey the work they're doing is fantastic. My eldest son Huey um, we had experienced some problems with him after a child loss uh, our youngest daughter is an identical twin and uh, her sister died before she was born Two years on or 18 months on Huey was experiencing problems at school and our school suggested that maybe I get in contact with Nelson's journey. Huey has had one-on-one -on -one counselling with a lovely support worker called Emily. She's been able to just talk to him normally, give him reassurance and just tell him what he's feeling is normal, it's okay. He didn't understand, He could, you couldn't understand because Sadly for us, we didn't have a little person to bring home, even though at the point of birth for Kitty, when he arrived at the hospital, he still thought we were going to bring two babies home. He also found it very difficult that us as adults, that we learn to process our emotions and our grief. But for him, he couldn't understand why it appeared that we'd forgotten and we'd moved on. Um, and he just found it very difficult because he hadn't gone through the channels that the rest of us had. Our Midwich volunteers have been fantastic today. They've brought in um, a wonderful hamper of books which will go towards our lending library. So we're really grateful for um, everything that Midwich have done for us. Not only have they raised money through their quiz, but they've also brought us lots of lovely books for our new lending library. It's absolutely wonderful to have a company like Midwich supporting us and especially for a period of two years because that really will make a huge impact on the work that we can do and it's at a time when we are growing massively so we expect to receive around a thousand referrals for children and young people this year and um, so having Midwich um, supporting us is really amazing we really are so grateful for their support. This charity what they do is incredible um, these children are our future and they need the support and they just need reassurance that humankind you know, these things happen and, and it's okay.